I'm John Spink. I'm a multimedia photojournalist with the Atlanta Journal of Constitution. Um, 2020 was a surreal and bizarre year. Um, I was certainly apprehensive about venturing out uh, into the unknown and um, being around other people, um, being an essential worker and um, getting out there and not knowing what to expect. Uh, normally I deal with a lot of calculated risks being a breaking news photographer because I pretty much cover public safety and I'm out there every morning chasing the blue lights, the red lights and all the crashes and the traffic problems in our city. So um, I'm already taking calculated risks on our highways and um, being out there in uh, volatile situations uh, and I'm used to that. Uh, I've had a lot of experience and, and pretty much know how to move around in those kinds of situations but uh, when you're talking about a pandemic uh, that, that's a totally new one on me. Um, I just in, you know ended up having to mask up and, and get out there and say a prayer every day before I got going and just just went to work and just tried to pretty much deal with it as much as I um, possibly could. After a while, it, it um, was pretty much work as usual, uh, with the exception of wearing a mask and washing your hands and not touching, um, you know, things that um, could pass on the, the virus. So, um, yeah, and just being out there and, and covering how people reacted. The lockdown was 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 the biggest surreal thing. I mean, I'm out there all by myself and the streets are deserted. I felt like I was on, uh, you know, zombie attack USA or something, you know? It was just so weird trying to um, tell the story of the medical workers was a, a real chore because, um, you know, we just couldn't get access to the hospitals. Uh, a lot of the hospital administrative people did not want media embedded or anywhere near uh, their doctors and nurses or patients, of course. So I decided to do a portrait series on the uh, Grady ambulance workers. Thankfully, the, the hospital worked hand in hand with me to, you know, once a, a crew would come in and take care of their patient, they would go out of service for 10, 15 minutes while I photographed them and, and uh, interviewed them. Uh, visually, it wasn't ideal because I would have liked to have gotten them in different environments and different places of the city just to have um, a different look with each particular crew. So that wasn't possible. So we had to pretty much, you know, stick with right there around the corner from the emergency room at the hospital out on the street. And uh, once, you know, I photographed and interviewed each crew um, and, and got back and got into post-production and started looking at the pictures, you know, I, I felt like the pictures were okay. I, I wasn't, you know, really jumping up and down about it. You know, I wanted to have, you know, a portrait series that was going to show a lot of great light and have some drama to it. but. It just didn't come off the way I wanted it to. So um, one of our editors, Tyson Horn, uh, put together the video. And all of a sudden, all those still photos of the ambulance crews, you know, just singing with their voice overlays worked out real nice. And I ended up liking the video a whole lot better than I liked the portrait series. So I, I thought that worked out great. And uh, I think it showed our readers, um, you know, what's kind of going through their minds uh, with this pandemic and, um, you know, what makes them tick. And, and that's, that's, that's something I think out of this pandemic that I really kind of took away was, you know, here, here's the folks that are on the front lines. And, uh, you know, I really wanted to kind of to see what they were all about. And I was just happy that we could share that with our audiences, you know, across all of our platforms, print and online.